信を確認Hi guys, this is AC Game. We're back with another video on Revived Witch. Now, in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is going over the exclusive equipment and going over which one you guys should be summoning for. So, right now, we actually have quite a bit of exclusive equipment, and I believe as more updates roll s out, they will add more exclusive equipment. So, I probably will be making updated videos. Like this, going over exclusive equipment and which one you should prioritize getting.、Um, I will have to wait until more exclusive equipment comes out before I actually make a second one of this. But in today's video, we're going to take a look at the rest of the available exclusive equipment or unique exclusive、um, unique equipment and go over which one are very, very good, which one you should prioritize getting, and all of that stuff. So, hopefully, you guys actually like this video. Stay tuned for more content on Revived Witch. Let's get to 10k subscribers. At 10k subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you guys don't want to miss out on upcoming and future Revived Witch content, make sure you click the bell icon or the post notification, and then you guys get notified when a new Revived Witch content comes out. So, yeah, let's get right into it. As you can see right now,、um, I don't have that many mana or my resources are not that much. As you can see, I actually used my souls. The reason why I used my souls was I actually did a couple of summons on this banner over here for m i n o Now, m i n o is not the exclusive equipment I personally care about. However, I've seen a lot of posts of people summoning. For some specific exclusive equipment, but got exclusive equipment for other characters, which is what I was actually aiming for because I was looking for a specific exclusive equipment, which is the exclusive equipment I probably tell people to go ahead and get、uh, or save for in the future. But、um, yeah, let's get right into it. So, if you want to find out the available exclusive equipment, I'm pretty sure there's two ways to do it. But the one I would talk to,、uh, mention right now, the one I would say is just to go over to this one. Go over to rules and you can see all the exclusive equipment over here. Sorry,、um, up here. And if you want to take a look at what the exclusive equipment does, you just have to press it, it's written there. Now, the only issue with this, you, you can't actually tell which exclusive equipment is for which character, but I will go over that whilst I'm talking about them right now in this video. So, there is actually a couple of exclusive equipment for SSR characters, not just、um, UR characters. Now, first of all, I'm going to say this prioritize getting、um, exclusive equipment, unique,、um, unique equipment. For、um, UR characters. Now, there are good SSR characters in the game, for example, Dorian,、um, the Cynthia, the free SSR character you get given when the game came out,、um, which other one? There's Yui and all of that stuff, u s h v i a r the mage character as well. So, yeah, there is good SSR characters, so it will be good in the future to get some exclusive equipment for them. But right now, as we have limited amount of resources because we're summoning for newer characters and all of that stuff, you want to make sure you prioritize getting yourself exclusive equipment for UR characters that you know is going to last forever because UR characters are characters that are the top tier. Not every UR character is good. But if you are going to some exclusive equipment, go for the UR characters that right now, without the exclusive equipment, they are broken, they are good. And then when you get the exclusive equipment, it makes those characters very, very useful later on, even if more characters come out. So, yeah, for exclusive equipment, you want to be picky with the one you guys want to go for, just because it is going to make your character、um, last longer as more OP characters drop into the game. So, the first one we're going to talk about is the Mina exclusive equipment. This is it over here. It's called p a l e m o n Let's take a look at what this exclusive equipment can do. When using a skill to deal magic damage, there is a 10, sorry, 11% chance of inflicting extra magical damage equal to 300% of attack on all enemies. Now, Mina is a single target character. Now, the reason why she's S tier is because she has a charge skill and the max amount of damage she can do can be increased. So, in a magic team, she is definitely a top tier damage dealer. However, in PvP content or content you want to clear faster, it is a lot better to use AoE character. So, the reason why I'm saying that right now is because the exclusive equipment actually means she can actually do AoE damage. So, not only is she going to be dealing huge amounts of single damage, she does ha also have a chance to inflict AoE damage if the percentage or this、um, ability is propped. Right now, it says 11%.、Um, let's see, I believe this can also be increased. I don't really know the max percentage, but I'm pretty sure 11% is not the max. Next one, and I believe with exclusive equipment, as long as the doll's、um, level increases, evolution increases, you, you can also increase the chance of this happening. I think, I think that's what it means by that. 
and as well as as long as you upgrade this equipment you can actually get some stats as well so right now it says health 1100 i'm pretty sure you can also get additional stats so attack crit damage health and magic defense now overall this is an amazing exclusive equipment and it's definitely exclusive equipment i would definitely tell you guys to go ahead and grab if you can now if you guys are working on a magic team this is going to be a good one for you um, magic team right now is very very op obviously with the new release of Sasevi. Sasevi is very very good um, as a buffer character obviously you expect her to die and then you drop your other buffers to make your team deal a huge amount of damage but yeah Mino is also going to be a fantastic character but obviously at later game it's just better to use AOE um, nukers that's why a lot of people just use the SSR mage units I've forgotten the character's name and as a magic character top tier magic character i would definitely recommend this as a exclusive equipment to summon for so luckily the banner is out you can go ahead and try that but obviously i don't think a lot of people have enough materials to do that because recently we did get a brand new banner um what's it called catherine so a lot of people did summon for catherine so right now we're lacking in resources so you have to wait in the future to see if there's a new release and banner for exclusive equipment for Mina, you can go ahead and grab it. But yeah, it's a very good exclusive equipment. So that is one of the exclusive equipment I would recommend people to go ahead and summon in the future. Or if you, if you have enough re resources right now, you can actually go ahead and try your luck. Now, going over to the second exclusive equipment I would definitely recommend people to summon for. It is the one for Saleya. Now, Saleya is one of the best uh, physic damage, physical damage character in the entire game. And I've already, when I've talked about Akash's exclusive equipment, I also talk a little bit about Seleia's exclusive equipment and why I believe it's actually amazing. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this right now. Now, if you guys have seen the new events and um, yeah, I believe new events, you will notice that a lot of people are using Seleia. It's probably because they have the exclusive equipment for Seleia and they're able to end the match within 30 seconds. Now, if you guys are thinking 30 seconds isn't a lot or it's, it's a huge amount, it isn't. The exclusive equipment, as you can see for Seleia, increases the damage belt dealt by 22% for 30 seconds upon combat entering combat so most matches for um, top tier players they end the match within 24 seconds so for that 24 seconds or 30 seconds Saleya over here is dealing extra damage which means Saleya will be amazing she'll be an amazing damage dealer so your later game your main purpose or your main goal sorry is to end the match at a very very fast pace now with this exclusive equipment for Saleya you will be able to do that now Saleya is a character I don't think a lot of people actually have and in my opinion she's definitely probably the yeah she's definitely the best um, assassin character in the entire game and with this exclusive equipment your damage overall will just increase now just like other exclusive equipment you can also get additional stats so you can get attack stats crit damage stats and a crit rate and health so yeah as you level this up you will be able to get increased stats in my opinion i would definitely say this is a priority for all of the exclusive equipment so um, I know I didn't go in order, but my main priority or your main priority should be getting Saleya's exclusive equipment. Then the next one could um, be Minas. And then the second one or the third one, sorry, could be Akasha. Now, I did talk about Akasha's exclusive equipment, so I'm just going to briefly go over this. So when scoring a critical hit, increases crit damage by 2.75% and physical penetration by 110% stacks up to one, um, 10 times. So with this, the damage is absolutely going to be insane. Now, it isn't going to be comparable with Saleya just because Saleya was already OP without an exclusive equipment. Akasha was also OP, but not on the same level as Saleya because Saleya Saleya was an AoE attacker, but even as an AoE attacker, she still dealt more single damage um, compared to Akasha, in my opinion. So, if even though both of them got amazing exclusive equipment, it obviously makes sense that Saleya has the better exclusive equipment or better um, use overall. So, that's why Akasha is the third priority in the exclusive equipment, and to be honest, you don't really need to summon for it. Now, exclusive equipment is an additional aspect to the game. So, first of all, you want to get a character, then you want to go for exclusive equipment. So, I'll probably just say get Saleya's exclusive equipment, get Minas, and that probably should be it for now. There is other good exclusive equipment. There is some ones, some exclusive equipment for some SSR characters that are good. Oh, wait, I didn't talk about this one, but this one over here is for a Fallen. So, this is also a priority, in my opinion. So, instead of actually naming Akasha as the third priority, I would actually like to say this one over here is your first priority in fact it could be first for other people that are using magic team so with this increases attack by 15% of the sum of physical damage and magical 
defense so this just increases the damage but if you guys don't know her chaos ability a chaos skill actually does huge aoe damage now she is a guardian character so she, she, she's meant to be a tank uh, so you probably won't be using her a chaos skill too much so you probably won't be able to utilize the attack too well it will be a great addition to a fallen however it, it wouldn't be a big increase in my opinion so it's definitely not the main priority because um this just increases attack and as a guardian character you should focus on either healing your allies or um protecting yourself but yeah still a great fantastic exclusive equipment so yeah those are the three or four exclusive equipment i actually think are worth getting there is other ones for example this one for flora um but yeah flora is already a great character or decent character but even if you give her this exclusive equipment she probably would just go all the way to like um a tier or s tier no 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 it probably just a tier and that would be it be very picky as you're summoning for exclusive recruitment at the moment there isn't that many exclusive equipment but as more content get released as more update comes out more exclusive equipment will come out so i will be waiting for them so right now Saleya, obviously like i said number one followed by the minas one followed by um a fallen or akasha but yeah, the one I'm actually waiting for actually in the future is definitely Ella. I'm waiting for her own exclusive equipment. I'm also waiting for Metamorphosis one. Turner as well. Wow, Turner will just be a great addition with exclusive equipment, I think. Uh, hopefully it makes her a lot better with buffing. Maybe exclusive equipment that buffs up the entire team or increases the regeneration for the chaos energy over here. I can't wait for this to come out in the game. So hopefully you guys actually like this video, stay tuned for more content on Revived Witch. I do have a video planned out on showcasing um, Catherine over here and Cher as well, but um, I probably will save that for another day. And obviously with the brand new event, make sure you guys are doing it. It's a lot harder for me actually, I just realised. But anyways, hopefully you guys like this video, it's been your boy AC Gamer, and I'm out. Hey, was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? Harmony